Right? Feeling good outside. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful day out there. 30s. Who would have thought 30s would feel like spring? Well, it does. And it's going to help to melt a little bit of the snow. There's a lot of it. We've been so cold, it'll take a while to get the snowpack out of here. But every little bit helps. And this is... This has been quite the dry stretch, quite the cold stretch, I should say. 32 degrees. The last time we were above freezing in Boston was Christmas Day. We've had 13 days in a row since records began, and this is the third spot on the list. The number one spot, January to February 1961. 16 days below freezing. And I'm okay with not getting that record. High pressure in control to our south and west. We have an airflow from the southwest. So that is why we're going to see that slow warming trend throughout the day. There was a cold front back here and attached to it some snow chances. Those snow showers move in briefly for the evening commute, making it a little slick on the roads as we see light accumulation, perhaps a coating up to an inch, but this is mainly outside of Boston. That's a live look at radar. Here's the hour by hour forecast. Through this afternoon, we're dry. The flurry start to pick up in intensity and in coverage here outside 495 by 4 o'clock. A couple flurries around Boston too, but the bulk of the snow accumulation right around Worcester. That's where you could see an inch of a sloppy accumulation here. It's going to be very pasty in consistency as temperatures will be right around freezing. And especially towards the Cape and Islands, you get a brief chance for a wintry mix before the system moves out tonight. And we're drying off or clearing the skies for Tuesday and Wednesday. And the warming trend will continue, especially for the end of the week. Right now, we're sitting just below freezing. We'll We'll get there. 31 in Boston now, 28 degrees in Worcester with a mostly cloudy sky, and it's that wind from the southwest that, yes, it's creating a wind chill. Not quite as bad as the last several days, but it is helping to warm those temperatures despite the cloud cover. And we're running 22 degrees warmer in Boston compared to this time yesterday. 22 degree difference in Taunton as well as Chatham. It just feels wonderful out there. Today, a high of 35 degrees with an evening snow shower. Overnight, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. Watch again for some slick spots on the roads, especially since we expect that snow cover 30 degrees for that low and high temperatures tomorrow pushing the 40 degree mark some communities will hit 40 right on the bat but we will see that warming trend kick in by the end of the week for sure 48 degrees on thursday 50s for both friday and saturday the thing we have to watch out for is the snow melt throughout the week but then all of a sudden we get some major rainfall Two to four inches of accumulation looking like Friday into Saturday. That could lead to some minor flooding and even some ice jams along the rivers. But hey, we're all looking for a break with this Arctic blast, and I can't wait for the 50s.